after re reconditioning my um, six inch rotary table which was neither use nor ornament uh, because the um, the worm and the worm wheel were out of sync because some of the teeth on the worm wheel were cut shallow and some were cut deep so when you try to rotate the table it just it was binding and finished a bit it, it got damaged over the years hardly used it so I decided to just re refurbish it and in my previous video you can see where I recut the teeth and uh, and, and moved the uh, worm wheel further down into the body so it engaged the worm wheel a lot better and it worked, worked perfect now it's really good so I thought uh, I thought now I've got it all done I'll uh, I'll invest in one of these uh, indexing plate sets from IDG and what it does it converts your uh, rotary table into a, a dividing head. I already have a dividing head, a quite good one, it's um, a Victoria dividing head and I've had it years and it's served me well. The only trouble is it's damned heavy and I, I think it's a bit too heavy for, for the size of my miller, it's only a Tom Senior miller what I have and uh, it's, it's done it okay, the, the milling machine is an industrial type so it's, it really should be strong enough but it's moving the, the dividing head up and down, it's the trouble so I thought I'll get one of these, I've seen them on um, on YouTube and uh, read about them, they look okay so I thought yeah, give it a go and uh, it doesn't look bad, I've got three plates, three index plates um, And we've got the uh, the plunger for the plates and the sector plate, which is vital. You need these. You need them. Otherwise, you'll, you'll get lost. The spring and the and the screws. Uh, I've also got myself um, a set of um, division uh, number of holes sets. What you can cut the different different divisions and the, using the various plates. It's a 90 to 1 ratio on a, on a rotary table, whereas a normal dividing head is 40 to 1. Uh, some are 20 to 1, and some are even less than that. But your common one is 40 to 1, and they're a lot easier to use. But uh, we'll give this a go, we'll, we'll build it up and see how it goes, and give it a test. She encountered a couple of problems uh, fitting these um, parts for the, uh, to convert it into a dividing head. I had to uh, just do a, a minor modification. The first one was that the um, the flats on the uh, the spindle, the uh, that's on the end of spindle takes the um, the plunger. They were too big with the flats. There's nothing wrong with the components. The the the, the, the bang on. It's this. It's it's an old. It's an early one, and I think it was just made anyhow. To be honest with you. Uh, I've milled the flats so that the uh, the plunger slides on smoothly before it just wouldn't go on. And also another problem is that the plates are tight, they won't go on. They're very tight. But what I did, I machined one light, I give one, give one a slight, uh, when it wants a tiny little amount off and they go on. Then another problem arose, that the holes don't line up with the holes in the plates. On the new up to date tables they'll fit perfect, you won't have any trouble. But with this being an early one and it seems to be a hodgepodge of everything, it's not, it's not really very well made. Uh, so what I'm going to have to do now is drill some new uh, locating holes. I'll have to uh, take the part off, uh, the rear part, uh, clamp the plate. I have to clamp it with a guide and spot through and drill and tap. Small plate now is uh, drilled and tapped. Um, just a matter now of repositioning uh, it on the uh, the worm shaft. I use small um, small brass pads 
underneath the uh, the grub screws, it just stops the shaft being scored and marked. And if it does mark it, and then you try and take it off some other time, it, 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 it'll be nearly impossible. I spot through with a small guide, a small plug, and I place the plate uh, on the plug and then uh, spot through with um, a spot drill. Then I've, um, I've drilled and tapped to suit the plate now. So hopefully um, it should go on without too much trouble. The plate goes on okay now, um, and the screw holes all line up. I'll just attach the small uh, countersink uh, socket head screws. The problem was originally with the uh, the shaft, um, the, the small flats, as I mentioned, they were uh, they were oversized, not by by much. I could have filed them, but I thought it'd be easy to put the whole caboodle in the uh, the dividing head, which I, I currently use, and then uh, I just remachine re -machine the the flats. At least then they're equal, and uh, it panned out okay. Sector arms are, are nicely made, but there was a slight problem. Just like the uh, the plates, it, it would not go on the spindle. It was just too tight. I could have probably scraped them out, but it was easier just to uh, pop them in the lathe and carefully uh, line them up, and then just take a light skim. Nice the position now. It only needed um, a small amount skimming out, same amount as the uh, as the plates. Uh, fitting the uh, flat retaining uh, spring over the uh, sector arms. This enables it to move freely round um, and keeps it in place. There is a small um, screw which tightens up the uh, arms when you get the hole position set. Here is the plunger. Um, it fits nicely now on the uh, end of the uh, shaft. As I mentioned earlier, I had to um, to mill the, the mill the flats to make the um, the bracket to fit. I could have filed them as I said, but it was just just as easy to put them in my uh, full size dividing head and and remill the flats. It ensures that they're perfectly square then with each other. Quite nicely made. The only thing with the uh, the plunger is there's no um, there's no parking point on my full size dividing head when I pull the plunger out just uh, a quarter turn and it locks the uh, the plunger in position so that you can wind the uh, the arm round without uh, the plunger uh, springing out and it eliminates any uh, danger of catching the sector plate What I shall, uh, well, what I'm going to do is to thin them down, uh, make them like uh, on my full size dividing head. Uh, it gives a bit more clearance, and there's no danger then of the um, the plunger catching the uh, the arms.
on most full size dividing heads they are tapered off on this bit this particular kit, uh, the sector arms, uh, as, I, as I mentioned, nicely made, but they're just uh, just a little bit on the thick side. So what I plan to do is to taper them off like they are on my full size dividing head, and it makes it a lot easier. Um, there's less chance of um, the plunger catching the sector arm when you're indexing round. Just doing a quick test of the uh, attachment I've uh, put together. Uh, a small piece of brass, I'm just going to mill for uh, uh, a square, four sides. The, um, the plate I'm using is a 20 plate to get four divisions. It's 22 turns, 10 holes in the 20 plate, and that's what the sector arms are set for. It goes round uh, pretty smooth now and all, it's uh, no effort. Really good. Uh, that's that uh, test piece finished it's milled okay and when I got round to the uh, start um, of the uh, piece um, it just touched on it were, it were perfect I'll um, I'll get the mics on it now and just see what uh, what it measures see if it's even That's the first uh, first one. Just see what to what it's measuring there. Not very clear, I'm afraid this camera's not uh, not up to scratch. It's nearly spot on. It's that's pretty good, is that? Yeah, I'm pleased with that. That'll do for me. Job well done.